Did you guys get a bunch of random cards like this? Okay, did did some people get this? What What is this? I don't know what this is. I, I literally just logged in and I got a bunch of random cards. I, I don't know. I mean, it's not like it's game-breaking content or anything, but that's really weird. I'll, I'll get a whole 16,000 training. I, I don't know. That was weird. I'll take it. But, listen, man, we are pretty close to getting Tom Brady now. We might as well open up this, uh, this 84 plus fantasy pack if we can get 5,000 training from this that that should do it right I think think I don't remember what 87's quick sell for but we should have enough for Tom Brady on this account now no a little bit short here's the thing what if I power down Joe Flacco will that give me enough training let's see let's see what happens it will easily so there we go we got ourselves a new quarterback on no money spent great value Tom Brady is officially on the no money spent squad there he is boom What's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we're back on the no money spent squad we got a major change at quarterback and over two million coins to spend on upgrades now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you were searching around youtube for up 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it seven days in a row we've uploaded on the no money spent account and as you saw in the intro as you see on your screen here we got ourselves a brand new quarterback moves were made we got rid of joe flacco we sold him for coins we got the great value tom brady on the team i played a couple games with him last night not terrible i think he's gonna be a very short-term option but for now it's going to save us some coins so we can go ahead and upgrade some skill position players now before we start making changes on the roster we do have a few packs to open up so let's go ahead and do that i don't think these are really going to provide any like value to the team maybe they will i don't know we'll see we got a pro elite pack we got ourselves a red zone pack these are coming from the competitive pass and the season three field pass and also from the competitive pass we got a 94 overall bnd dk metcalf now is he any better than the wide receivers that we have on our team i'm not quite sure just yet we might plug him in on the roster and see if maybe we can get some coins back from whoever's out there or maybe even some training but with part two of the super bowl promo dropping today a lot of good wide receivers are dropping in price because of mvs's ltd and whatnot so we might make one pickup in this video We're probably not going to spend all of our coins but upgrades will be made very soon let's see what we can get in these packs though so we got a red zone pack from the competitive pass uh before we were pretty much quick selling everything that we earned from the packs for training for that tom brady i don't know if we take the same approach here because there is a career tribute aj green in stores right now which is only about fifty thousand training so do we take that same approach is that card worth going after he does get short out elite for zero ap we're always looking for discounted abilities six foot four but with nine 94 speed is he that much better than anybody else on our roster i don't think so at this point so we might skip it but we're gonna go ahead and quick sell the elites that we got out of that red zone pack let's go ahead and open up the pro elite pack which i think guarantees you two elite cards this one came from the season three field pass hopefully we can get something good the very first elite isn't that great we probably okay a couple 87s there you always see this animation and think it's going to be a 78 overall gold but we got two 87s and an 80 uh, in that so we're now up to about 14k worth of training now over the course of this last week we went ahead and bought four different ltds that we were using as rental options to basically upgrade our team be able to play games be competitive win some of those games we got rid of two of them so the joe flacco is now gone we bought him for i think right under 500k sold for 460 so we did lose some coins on that investment but that's okay he got us a couple w's he played well for us 
pretty solid card. Randall Cobb, I'm pretty sure I bought at 408 or 418,000 coins. So again, we lost a very small amount, but being that these hold a lot of value because they're LTDs and at bare minimum are going to quick sell for 350k, I always feel like these are really good options for you no money spent players out there to get a quick upgrade and kind of wait for other cards to come down in price and, and have a viable team to use. We got two really good wide receivers today, probably the top two wide receivers in the game right now. MVS, which is a 97 overall LTD from the Super Bowl promo, six foot four, 97 speed with that Super Bowl strategy item. You can get it up to 98 speed and then a career tribute AJ Green, which is another six foot four receiver crazy discounted abilities. He's got 96 speed. I think a lot of the people who have lots of coin to spend, and that's going to be including myself on my main team, are going after these higher price cards because obviously they're much better. And this is now opening up spots for us to make upgrades on the no money spent squad. This is something you always want to look for when the new shiny item comes into play. You want to go look for the not so new and shiny items, but are still really, really good because uh, they're going to drop in price. And I think one of them, which was you know wide receiver number one on my main team is going to be this Drake London card, this weekly wild card that I almost called Wild Card Wednesday. For 400k, I mean, we're a little bit over 2 mil. I'm going to go ahead and buy this card. I think he's worth that. He's six foot four. He gives you 96 speed. He gets really good discounted abilities. So where we were struggling at the skill positions, wide receiver and cornerback specifically, we now have some upgrades. Another one I want to check a price on here is going to be Andre Reid. Remember, not too long ago, we sold this card for like 500 or 550k. All of these 96 overall playoff cards skyrocketed in price they're all starting to come back down to earth and i think if you were looking to repurchase your team because maybe you sold them when that old tvp went away in between the new one coming back today might be a great day to do it andre reed one of the better wide receivers in the game 363k somebody just stole him from me so we're gonna have to buy the next one available there never mind we got one for 351k look procrastination and patience at the same time pays off we saved ourselves some coins there so we're now down to 1.3k but where we desperately needed some wide receivers, we now got some of the best in the game. Just those two additions have the offense looking so much better than it did 24 hours ago. We showed you the two Black History Month cards that we have on offense with Warwick Dunn and Anquan Bolden. They're going to maintain their roster spots, but we now got Drake London and Andre Reid, wide receiver number one and two for a total of three AP spread across both players. We got deep out elite and short in elite on both of them. So four abilities, some of the better abilities in the game for wide receivers for a total of three AP looking good. I think we've maximized our AP on offense very, very well. So we're not going to make any more upgrades in this video, but here is the offense. We got 1.3 million to work with. I think there's a few things in our binder that we can quick sell for training. At this point, we don't really have anything to spend training on other than maybe the training variety pack, but the defense needs to be addressed next cornerbacks probably one two and three all need to be replaced good thing is Darius Williams is an LTD so we're probably going to get somewhere between 350 and 400,000 coins back for him so we'll be right back closer to almost two million coins with three cornerbacks to fill and don't forget with the current competitive pass we're at level 13 there's a 96 overall cornerback with 96 speed six foot four nation right that's in this competitive pass it can be one of those cornerbacks that we need to upgrade also part two of the Super Bowl promo came out today as i said and we still have two more 94 overall fantasy packs to earn from this field pass one at level 20 which we're not too far away from and then finally one at level 25 with more objectives and things to do in the game to earn us xp within this field pass we could go out and grab an avante maddox there's some right there's two uh a right tackle in there and andrew wiley that'll probably help our offensive line be improved a little bit so so many more moves to make we still got a lot of flexibility with our coins and at the end of the day we made some up Upgrades. Two wide receivers, a new quarterback. You guys let me know how the squad's looking and what defensive players should we target in tomorrow's video. Thank you guys for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.